everybody. Welcome to today's training call, Senior Solutions Agency Training, our Friday call with your two hosts, Joe Johnson and Jimmy Hernandez. Jimmy, any um, before we get into to, to today's training, any announcements or anything um, in the updates you need to talk about? Well, I can. I don't have a, a slide, but this coming Monday, I think it's going to be a really good topic for our senior market. Um, the, the, the title of the show is going to be The Six Risk You Face in Retirement. Okay. And then I'm going to show some solutions to protect against those risks. Um, keep an eye out. I'm going to also, um, I invited um, a CPA. Uh, I'm not, he hasn't accepted yet. If he does, if he, if he accepts it, will be, it'll be pretty cool because I haven't, I haven't done a webinar with him before, but if not, I'll go back to Ed, my main guy. And, uh, he, who's also a CPA. And we're going to talk about Biden's proposed, uh, tax bill and how it okay. could affect. So I think that's going to be really important. So, but guys, yeah. check out Jimmy's, uh, the, the educational webinars that he does on Mondays. They're incredible. I've attended quite a few and, uh, you know, uh, Jimmy's a certified financial advisor. I've actually uh, hired him myself. So he's managing uh, part of my portfolio. I put about $100,000 into some funds that he's managing for me. So uh, I'm just telling you, I trust him to handle my finances. You can trust him as well. So for yourself or if you have any clients, you're working on some cases for uh, retirement strategies, please give Jimmy a call so he can help you out. So you, very good. All right, man. Well, let's get into today's training. Like I said, I'm on a little bit of a time crunch, so I'm going to kind of jam through this as quickly as possible. And um, what we're going to be talking about today is the, the Transamerica. It's called the Lifetime whole life product it's a product they rolled out i guess it was about a year ago maybe maybe longer um but it's really caught on i really the more and more i learn about the product the more and more i really like it it's a it's a it's a great product and today's training is going to kind of be giving you kind of an overview it's not it's not going to be everything you need to know about the product but it's going to be enough to kind of get you started and it's really going to be up to you to educate yourself and i mean really go onto their website and um you know read the materials and learn about it the point of this call today is just to get you somewhat familiar with the product and why i think it's a um, a great product if you're if you're if you're watching this on youtube and you're not subscribed to our channel i urge you please subscribe to our channel jimmy and i put out new content um every single week and so uh i, I don't think you'll be disappointed subscribe get the notifications that way you know we've got hundreds of training videos that we do uh, a lot of them are on products some of them are just on basic sales tips but please subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed all right um, as far as product information, if, like I said, this video is not intended to, 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 to cover everything you need to know, it's, to, it, it's an introduction really is what it is to the lifetime product. For more information, simply just go to the, the Transamerica agent portal, the agent net info. All you gotta do is click right here where it says product information. And that tab is going to open you up to all these different things that you can open up. The um, some of the the more important ones are would be take a look at the consumer brochure. Of course, you can order those. You can print them out yourself. The field underwriting guide is a great way to just to read through to find out more about the product and you know help you out with your field underwriting when you're going out and you're talking to your clients and you're trying to figure out, hey, is you know are your clients looking for a permanent solution? And based on their health and lifestyle, is this going to be a good fit? Just to kind of get an, an overview. Just remember, this product is is it's not a final expense product, so it's not written at a you know table four or table six. So the the intentions of this are 
not to replace final expense. It's to it's to add on to what you have to give you another arrow in your quiver, if you will, for maybe those clients that are a notch uh, or a tier above a final expense client, those people that have great lifestyle, they're in pretty decent health, that sort of thing. So you can get the field underwriting guide. Uh, I've read through that. Also the Transamerica agent guide is another really good one. And there's also a PowerPoint. There's a sales presentation that um, goes through a lot of the features on the product as well. So um, if you're interested in learning more than what this video has to offer, simply go to the agent net info and check out the, the, uh, the product information that they have on the website. All right, just kind of a real quick, some of the highlights of the product. One thing that I really like about this product is that you see the issue age or the issue, uh, well, issue ages and issue face amounts. Face amounts go down as low as 25,000. That's the reason why I really like this product. You guys are probably aware that one of our primary carriers recently just dropped a product that we used to write a lot of. And the acronym was GULE. So you probably know who the carrier is. That product doesn't exist anymore. Okay. So this would be a good replacement for that exact same client, that client that, again, is maybe looking for those, let's say, more than just final expense, maybe a slightly bigger face amount, 25, 30, 40, 50, 60,000 of, of, um, of, of whole life coverage. Final expense is either just too expensive or maybe the face amount doesn't go up high enough for that particular client. So you can see here, um, uh, let's see here, here are the ages. It goes from age 15 days, so you can write infants, all the way up to age 80. Now, when you get up to the higher ages, there are more requirements. But the other thing I like about this is that they have, they offer multiple ways to pay. They have the to age 100, that's their traditional. So when you calculate the premium, Premiums are paid until the client attains either either till they die or till they attain the age of 100, and they don't have to make any more premium payments. The policy's still good; they just don't have to make any payments. Jimmy, they also have three other variations. They have a 10 pay, a 20 pay, and a 30 pay. Nice, which I really like. You know, if you have the, you know, if you're if you're writing a client that's in their 30s or 40s, they probably don't want to have to pay on a product until they're 100 years old. You know, why not offer a 20 pay solution or, or offer them a 10 pay solution? Um, 30 uh -oh. pay probably is not too much more than uh, the regular pay till death. Exactly. And the younger they are, the, the you know, the the better it is, or, you know, maybe you have a client that's 65 years old and, uh, you know, you know, a 10 pay, I think would be a great, great solution. Uh, let's see, premium periods. Oh, we just covered that actually. Maturity age, age 121. Uh, riders, there's a bunch of riders that you can do. There's an accidental death rider. There's a child benefit rider, chronic illness, critical illness. Now just keep in mind, um, on those chronic and critical illnesses, those are not available for the lower face amounts. Yet the minimum face amount to get those riders is 100,000. But that would be great for your your clients in their you know 20s and 30s or 40s that are uh, looking for a little bit more coverage and are interested in having those living benefits. There's a disability waiver of premium, guaranteed insurability rider. There's an income protection. Uh, option. There's a term insurance rider, which I really like. Uh, and then there's a terminal illness um, rider that's available too. That's automatic. That's not a paid rider. The rest are paid riders. The terminal illness automatically comes with it. And then underwriting classifications. What's And what we're going to be talking about with this product is depending on the face amount, but your, your client 
is eligible to get the very best rate class available without having to do a pyramid, without having to get fluids drawn, okay, which is very good. Now, on the lower face amounts on, you know, 100000 and well, I should say, you know, $99,999 and less, the best rate they're going to qualify for is standard, which is still a really good rate. It's still a, um, you know, a standard table rating. In other words, it's not being rated up. It's just a standard rating. And I'll, we'll get into the rates here a little bit later. But those are, these are the rating classifications um, available. What's nice about this is that if you got the client that is, you know, 45 or 50 years old and they're looking for, you know, um, Two hundred and fifty or three hundred thousand dollars worth of coverage, you can you can write this product, and chances are they're not going to have to do uh, any type of a of, of pyramid. Um, so a tremendous benefit. Okay, now here's where it talks about the express protection underwriting. This is what they call the the fluidless. So the uh, in other words, there's they don't have to give blood or urine on these amounts. So if they're between the ages of 65, you can go up to uh, $499,000. So just under 500,000 without any type of uh, pyramid. If they're between ages of zero and 55, you can go up to 999,000. So practically a million dollars. And if they're between the ages of 18 and 45, you can go up to 1,999,000 without a pyramid. So, you know, we don't have that many cases that we're writing up to $2 million. So for the most part, I think for the most of the cases that we're going to be writing, you're going to be able to get this done without having to order um, a pyramid, which is tremendous. Transamerica is really working very, very hard to increase express underwriting and how many cases they can approve automatically without having to get an underwriter involved. Okay, um, underwriting. Let me kind of go over this express, the express protect underwriting. Here's just a continuation of some of the uh, highlights. The new electronic application process. Guys, they really have designed this where if everything looks good, you know that when you submit the application, they're automatically going to run the MIB, the RX, the motor vehicle. Everything looks good. They're going to approve it without an underwriting having to to look at it, which is going to be great. And that's what this talks about. The and then the uh, the fluidless um, acceleration, being able to get your clients done without having to collect any type of fluids. And then this is what I just talked about, best cases available or classes available, that your client is going to be eligible to get the best class. So in other words, if you got an age, if you got a client that you're writing up and you're looking for $100,000 or more, I want to emphasize this, they're not paying more because they're not getting a pyramid. Transamerica is going to give them the best rate they qualify for um, all the way up to elite or, you know, preferred or better without collecting any fluids. Um, and then just talking about avoiding unnecessary requirements. That's what you, you want to do, the e-application. And then they have a new uh, uh, tele-interview process. That would be for your higher dollar amounts. So, um, you know, your clients that are looking for bigger face amounts, instead of doing ordering exams, they'll try to do it with an interview instead of ordering uh, an exam. So just keep in mind, I mean, Transamerica is really uh, improving their underwriting and they're really trying to make it as easy as possible to get these um, approved. This screenshot right here just talks about the age and amount requirements, like what's required. So I would try to keep my face amounts in line without having to do a physical exam. So you can see right here, 
it talks about for face amounts where my cursor is if you can see that face amounts between twenty five thousand and four hundred and ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars all the way up to age 65 all they have to do is answer the questions on the application the medical history questions uh part two on the on the e-application and there's not going to be any extra requirements if they're over the age of 66 so if they're between the ages of 66 to 80 there is going to be a physical exam they're going to have to do the telephone interview and then the the bcp which stands for uh what does that stand for blood chemistry profile i believe and hos which is home office specimen i believe yeah home office specimen that means they're gonna have to pee in a cup when they come out and visit them at their house okay so uh and then if you're looking for amounts up to up to a million dollars from five hundred thousand to 999,000, you can go all the way up to age 55 without a pyramid, okay? And if you're looking for a, big, a million to 2 million, they go all the way up to age 45. So Jimmy, I think Transamerica is really doing a good job to, to try to get as many cases approved on this product without having to do um, a, a physical exam, which normally on a on a traditional whole life you know if you want to get a preferred or the preferred elite case is that you would expect your client to have to go and, and take a physical exam which you guys know i mean you got to get it scheduled it can be a pain in the butt man i've had cases that have taken three or four months sometimes to get approved uh so that i i, th I think this is really going to simplify the process um any comments or anything you want to add before I move to the next screen? No. In, is it competitive, competitively priced? Oh yeah, yeah. It's a yeah. It's it's a very competitively priced um, product, especially when you get to those face amounts over a hundred thousand. I mean, Transamerica's um, preferred rate is as good as anybody else's, for right. sure. Um. So good, uh, good question. Underwriting tips: uh, Just keep in mind, guys, don't don't get non-medical confused with guaranteed issue. So, like I said, this is not designed for your your, let's say, your typical final expense client that you know had a heart attack three years ago, smokes and has COPD and and you know diabetes now they will take someone with diabetes but you, you know what i'm saying this is for your this is for your 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 healthier clients um i would say up to age 65 that are in good health they take care of themselves they go to the doctor on a regular basis they're not on a ton of medications you know they can have the regular stuff high blood pressure cholesterol all that they can even have diabetes you know, um, it just needs to be under under control. Uh, let's see. If you write an application, the application is valid for uh, for 90 days. So you can you can take the app, get them approved, and you know your your client has 90 days to decide whether or not they want to move forward with it. Uh, let's see. We already talked about. Oh, if you're writing on a juvenile, the parents or, or legal guardians do need to sign. Cases. Let me see if there's anything else in here that's important. Um, I'll let you guys read through that. It just talks about the tele, you know, make sure you collect all the information on the application. Um, underwriting tips for the living benefits. So if you are writing a case of 100,000 and you're wanting to get your client qualified for the critical or chronic illness, just keep in mind these are some of the things that are probably going to keep them from from qualifying if they've had a history of drug abuse cancer coronary artery artery disease diabetes with insulin multiple sclerosis uh muscular dystrophy parkinson's disease if they've had a stroke you know if they had a heart attack you know those are things that are going to keep them doesn't mean they can't get the coverage they're just not going to be eligible to get the chronic 
in, in critical illness. Okay. So, and height and weight, there is a height and weight chart. Um, you definitely want to take a look at that. If they're over the height and weight chart, doesn't mean they're they're not going to get approved. Just means you probably need to call, get a risk assessment, maybe get a table rating. But if you can take a look at, um, let's say, average male is probably about five nine, five ten. Uh, let's see, five nine. You can go all the way up to two hundred and forty four pounds and still get the standard rating. You can go all the way up to 220 and be preferred. Uh, 244 would be standard. If they're over that, um, probably gonna be a little bit of a slightly, uh, maybe a little bit of a table table rating. So just be conscious of, I, it seems like height and weight is something that gets agents all the time. Like the client's in really good health, but they're heavy, you know, they're five nine, uh, 275 pounds, but they're, they seem to be in reasonably good health. Seems like that's something very easy that we can miss. Just keep in mind, you can always call Transamerica. Call, just get a risk assessment. If you're not sure, you know, write down their medications and their medical history. Call, get a risk assessment. It's the best way to do it. Um, as far as getting a quote, the, um, this is not available since it's not a final expense product as of yet it's not available on the fex toolkit so the best way to get a quote is you do need to log in to your your transamerica agent portal which is the agentnetinfo.com log in with your credentials all you got to do is click on where it says my transware it's going to open it up and you can see this is where all the products are. You've got the Universal Life, the Trendsetter, Final Expense. You want to click on Transamerica Lifetime Whole Life, select the product, and then just fill out the, the client's information. As you can see here, I've got uh, John Murphy, born 6'6, 1965, lives in Texas, male, non tobacco. It, it, and if you're applying for a bigger face amount, a hundred thousand or more um, this is where you can go in and you can select the rate class you know preferred standard um, so where it says non-tobacco that just means it's the standard it's 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 the the regular rate the reason why is because I'm only looking for 35,000 so in this particular situation I'm assuming that this was a final expense lead. I've got a guy who's 56 years old. I show up to his house. The dude's in really good health, takes care of himself, goes to the doctor on a regular basis, has the normal stuff that you would expect a 56 year old to have. High blood pressure, a little bit of cholesterol, you know, maybe takes medication for indigestion or whatever. But overall, has never had any major episodes like heart attack, stroke, cancer. He's in, in, in pretty good health, uh, maybe a little chunky, but not overweight. So uh, I'm going to select that for solve premium. I put in a premium of 35,000. I'm going to do it paid to age 100. This is where you can go in. If you want to, you can go ahead and select, you know, if you want to do a quote of 10 pay or whatever. My recommendation is go ahead and and go ahead and select always select the pay to age 100 and i'll show you why in a minute uh, we're not doing any riders um, one thing is is that for the lower face amounts the the critical and chronic illness aren't available anyway uh, living benefits are already there so uh terminal riders you can see is already included i'm not doing those other ones and then down at the bottom, if you can see where the arrow is, see where it says reports? If you just click reports, it's going to bring up a box. It's going to say either summary or full illustration. Always click summary. Here's the reason why I said always click, always put it in for till age 100, because when you click summary, it's going to give you all the options anyway. So here you see I've got my client, John Murphy in Texas, 35,000, standard rate class, non-tobacco, no additional riders. But you can see down at the bottom, it's gonna go ahead and give me, it's gonna give me the 10 pay option, the 20 pay option, the 30 pay option, and then the lifetime pay or pay until 100. 
So for 35,000, it's coming in at $97.79, okay? And then what I would say, let's compare that to a traditional final expense product. Oh, before I do that, there's also, you can click, if you wanna, if you wanna do a full illustration, there isn't, there's an eight page illustration that you can do um, in order to do this. Um, I'm thinking more, you're probably doing this on your tablet or maybe you have your laptop in the house, so you're not gonna have the ability to do a full illustration. And the full illustration is not necessary. Uh, they don't need to sign it in order to get the product funded. So I would, I, me personally, I would probably skip the full illustration. This is a very simple product. Okay, so if you wanna kind of compare, let me move that over. So you can see um, age 56, 35,000 was $97 a month. I plugged that into FEX Toolkit to see the comparison. Here's the comparison. Here are your top six companies. You got Transamerica, Mutual, Liberty Bankers, Foresters, Prosperity, Security National. Trans and Mutual are the cheapest, $121 a month and $122 a month. Liberty Bankers is right there at $123. So you can see that this product on 30, I mean, you can see the value, you can see how much less it's coming in, uh, 20, $24 cheaper than the next best scenario on final expense. So definitely an option um, when you're working with those healthier final expense clients. All right, moving on. Jimmy, anything you wanna add? Nope. Okay, there's also a term writer, which is a great value. So even on your lower cases, which I like, so if you're writing that 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 amount, that final expense client that is looking for a hundred thousand or less, but maybe they're looking for more coverage and you want to add more value, this term writer, I just added a fifty thousand dollar term writer. I believe that was a twenty year term uh you're coming in at 198 so you're giving your client a total of eighty-five thousand dollars of coverage for 198 dollars a month so moving i just thought that's a really good writer and i was kind of surprised to find out that was the term writer was available on the lower dollar amounts all right as far as doing applications my recommendation is don't mess with a paper app um, you know, it's like a 30 page application and trust me, we'll screw it up. So just, if you're going to write this product, stick to the e-application. Once you've completed, once you've closed your client and you've, you've gone over it and yes, this is the product they want to go with right there on agent and info. All you have to do is go back to your home screen, click on the iGo e-application. I'll walk you through it real quick. The one thing that might be a little bit confusing is um, when you click on the on the iGo e app, it's going to take you to the Transamerica Senior Market. That's the division that we're in. So go ahead and click on where it says Senior Markets. Then click right here, um, iGo e app. Click here to enter iGo, and it's going to take you right there. Start a new case. Um, if you've never done one through iGo, you're gonna to need to register for that. So I would I would go ahead and get that done before you go out and start presenting it. That way, if you end up writing a case, you're not messing around with, you know, setting up your credentials for the iGo e app. So start a new case and it's gonna take you right in there. You're gonna just plug in your client's information. Uh, they live in Texas, product type, you're gonna select whole life. Then it's going to say find available product. The only one that's going to come up is the lifetime. Because when you select products, the final expense product is actually labeled as final expense. So you can't get the two confused. So select whole life and then select the uh, lifetime and then just click select and it's going to take you right into the e-application. If you want more training 
on the e-application on how to do an e-app, you can either go to, you can go to our website, the, the Senior Solutions Training website or our YouTube channel, or there's a training video on the Transamerica website. I believe it's, where is it? Right here. So if you click on the iGo e-app, there's an iPipeline final expense video that tells you how to do the, the e-application. It's the same, the process, the e-application, the process is the same whether you're doing final expense or, or any other product. All right, let me fast forward here. Okay, that's that. Um, credit cards. We made the announcement a couple of weeks ago that, that Transamerica is now accepting credit cards on the final expense product. They're also accepting, accepting credit cards on this product as well. So you can use credit cards, I I'm, I'm believe debit cards as well, as long as it has the, the credit card logo. But your clients uh, are now able to use a credit card. So, um, you know, maybe they want to get some points or some miles, but you can use a credit card for not only the initial payment, but also the recurring payments um, as well, which I think is pretty exciting. They're giving you an additional way to be able to pay for the products. Um, and commission. So you're probably wondering, okay, it's a great product. How much of a cut am I taking in commission? Here's the, the crazy thing. This product actually pays more than final expense. Okay, so this is a copy of the Transamerica uh, commission. This is what they call rank 35. So if you're at a rank 35, that means on final expense, you're at 100% commission. Now you you may be slightly lower, you may be slightly higher, okay? But here is the here's the commission schedule for final expense. If you're at 100% on the 10 pay, you you would be at 88 and 88, and for the easy solution, which is their graded, only pays 58%. And then here's the renewal schedule. The lifetime whole life product, the lifetime whole life, pays. 105%. So you're actually getting five more points on this product than you would on the final expense. So you're not losing out on commissions. I know typically with other carriers, when we go into the more competitive products, a lot of times we're kind of expected now oh, it's probably going to be a 15, 20 point reduction in commission, not on this particular product. And it pays renewals as well. It pays a lifetime renewal. So over the long haul, your renewal schedule with Transamerica is going to be more than it would be on a final expense product. In this example, uh, you can see on final expense years two through five, the renewal is 2.75%, which is a little bit more, but year six through 10, it's 1.75%. And then after 10 years, it's zero, no renewals. With the lifetime product, you're getting 2% for lifetime. So for as long as they keep the product, you're going to get a 2% renewal. The other thing I'll mention for some of our managers and client or agents that have been able to achieve the higher commission levels is that there's a little, there's even a bigger differential on what you get paid. So if you're at hypothetically let's say you're at a 115 or 110 the difference may be even a little bit more it may be more than five percent it may be ten percent more that you get paid on the product so guys i mean this was just really a um you know a kind of a quick overview on the product like i said it, it's it's more of an introduction just to get get you introduced to the product it's honestly going to be up to you to, you know, take control and really get yourself educated on the product. Go to the website, you know, go through the the agent guide, the the product underwriting guide, and really get yourself um, familiar with the product. But I think it's a really good product. I think it's something that you should definitely be adding uh, to your portfolio. So. 
Um, with that, Jimmy, any I know this is going to this has been a, um, a quick one, um, but any any questions or any comments maybe I could answer for you and I'll see if the if anybody else has any questions. If you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and write them in and I'll try to answer them for you. Um, I don't have any questions. You did a really good job. Um, as far as comments go, I, I really like the short pay options, like the 10 pay, 20 pay option. And, yeah, I do too. And I'm gonna tell you how to position this. So let's say you're in the field um, and, and there's two scenarios, one, is you have the mathematical person that's doing the calculation and they say, okay, well, if I pay on this for the rest of my life, I'm gonna end up paying X amount of dollars, which is gonna exceed the um, the face amount, assuming that they live like, let's say to age 100, right? So they say, okay, uh, long longevity runs in my family. I'm gonna live into my 90s and I'll end up paying more than what the death benefit is, okay? So for those people, you do the short pay, the 10 or the 20, and then you show them mathematically that even if they pay the policy in full, the death benefit exceeds what they paid into it. So that's the first one. And the second one is for those people that are comparing this to a prepaid funeral. So usually they go right. to a funeral home and they're looking at a, a $15,000 burial and their monthly payment's gonna be about 300 bucks um so you can you can do a short pay you could say okay well why don't we get you thirty thousand dollars of coverage double it right that way we cover the cost of inflation and we're going to do this on a 10 pay and we're going to cut your payment in half and that's a no-brainer i i've done that many times over so that 10 pay really you know is the is the i guess you can say the winner um and then you you just hit on the fact that the 30,000 goes to their beneficiary of choice and then they can use those funds to pay for the funeral whatever's left over that goes to the beneficiary or with a prepaid funeral plan all of that money goes to the funeral home and the benef their their family member doesn't get any of it right so it Correct. just makes more sense to do a 10 pay so again either you have that mathematical person or you know, you have somebody that's comparing this to a, a prepaid funeral. Got it. I was just doing the math, you know, on that scenario that I did, the, the 56 year old, I took 35,000 and divided it by the 97, which was the premium. It would take 30 years to pay into the policy before he reached that. I mean, d definitely it's more competitive, it's a better product than your your average final expense product but keep in mind you know it it's again i just want to reiterate this product it's it's in addition to it's not to replace uh it's not to replace your our you know final expense product so um if you guys need any help with anything I, I think most everybody here has my phone number but that's my direct that that's my direct phone number that's on the screen um well jimmy you have a great weekend i pr uh, appreciate you being on the call um everybody i know it's kind of a short call but short and sweet but we'll get this up on the the agent or the uh the senior solutions website so you can view it later and i'll uh i'll, I'll get the link out to everybody Awesome. Thank you, Joe. All right, my man. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.